Well, welcome and good evening, wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this is part 115 of the Seated Runs TVOI. OBS seems to working just fine. Uh, okay. So let's continue where we left off. See if we can add some new interesting. I missed. You got 99 cents, why do you... Whatever. That'd be an idea. What if you use Tank A and just had like Spider Mod only? Just a bunch of Spider Mod. Doesn't that normally drop a pill? Oh, I'm holding it. Got like three transformations in one minute. What am I, fucking Frieza? Now I just need to rip off Ridley Scott and then become golden.
My head's been hurting a bit lately. Well, I didn't expect that way to be the dead end. Yeah, sure. Not that I really need it, I guess, but hey. Oh no, that could backfire quite a bit when it comes to us trying to go to Mega City. We're technically strong enough now, we should be able to easily kick Mega Saiyan's ass. But I want to add a couple things to this. I want to see if I can make it a little crazier, a little funner, more. What is a floating knife with fucking... Between just the fucking... Finger and Robo Baby, I think things are dying before I get a chance to blow them up. I don't want that trinket.
<coughs> oh, I have flight now. Yay! Meh. He died even before. So I have to actually go in the devil DLA. So the first time I thought it would trigger if I just went in there at all. <coughs> so this I have to actually go in there. I wonder how many times that'll stack. Not getting a whole lot of shot speed anymore. Anyway. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Rock bottom followed by Epicac. Not that I necessarily need the damage, I just want to see how it looks. I was on top of rocks. I was like, why did I get hurt? Well, if we ever get Dr. Fetus, this could be interesting. Okay, there. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 
not sure if I already have small rock or not. I probably do. Um. Okay. But they're just permanently a fist now. It's no longer sides. It's just. Just shooting a bunch of fists. Okay. <clears throat> I do have nine luck. Well, let's check out the shop before I pick that up. I ow. More shot speed. Must have money for power. Back to side screen. I'm so not sure why.
Kind of debate if I should just go to Mega City. Well, that would be neat. I'd rather just go do this. <clears throat> so I can fly over things like this. We. I still think it was interesting that one time I attained a not a normal Lilith box of friends. I had like I kept using it over and over, so I had like forty balls and chain. I forgot about that. That if you're small enough and you have speed, you can run off the um, crawl space. You can either run straight down the ladder, going straight into... I forgot about that, yeah. Because here's the thing. If you run down that ladder with a smaller size and a max speed, you can run off the ladder into a I am error. Same way if you're on that floor, if you run sideways fast enough, you can also just run through the wall. I forgot about that. Why do I need two beds? Why? Oh, in case you wanna... I wasn't planning to game, but... You insist. Oh, right. Hey, they both lived. That didn't last long. Hey, a lucky penny. Hey, I mean, it's still working. Wonder if I can get a blood bag out of this before it explodes. No, I see a bot. No. Are there any lucky pennies? Oh, I can't even use that. <laughs> I've been damaged. Wow. How many fucking layers of flies and spiders do I have? You know what that reminds me? There's a channel out there called Ants Canada. Basically, it's a person who raised a bunch of ant colonies and does stuff. He seems to have a genuine love for ants, which I find 
odd, because I don't share in that passion, but I do have a morbid curiosity of all things. Like literally every subject in the world. Granted, there are some times that my interest in one thing wanes more than another, and sometimes my emotional slash moral disposition to things will change, but that's that's me. I'm that's just the way my brain works. Still me no matter what, but my general emotional feeling toward things will vary. But either way, I mean it's always me and it's always I'm always behaving the same with people. I <clears throat> always find it odd. I I like scary movies and violent video games, but in life I'm a pacifist who's super nice to everyone. I'll actually nod my head at everyone I meet just because I like to be polite and respectful to everyone. I believe in being courteous and I also believe very strongly in egalitarianism. I believe that all people should be treated the same. All people should be treated with kindness. Though I do find it odd when there are some people that start you know, going the whole social justice warrior thing and they wind up, you know, mistreating others because of one group over another. I'm like, you just became the very thing you're trying to fight against. I mean, that's hypocritical. Which just, I mean, I really don't give a shit. I mean, everyone's belief is their own. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes people will claim one thing and then they'll, in doing that, they'll wind up being the very thing they're going against. I mean, heck, there were so many times in, like, the 80s where there'd be groups fighting each other in Africa and stuff over, you know, political dictatorships. And they'd call themselves freedom fighters, but a lot of times they'd be murdering and killing innocent people all the more. I'm like... Then again, I don't know shit about politics anywhere. Hell, it seems like Australian news seem to have a better grip over what's going on politically in our nation than our own news does. I don't even know what to think about anything anymore. It's just... It's... Ah. Uh, seems like the world's fucking crazy out there. Why am I the sane one? I don't know. Not like I really care. Yay! Let's all join Lunar D8 in my fucking apathy. Or maybe I'm just at a different ebb and flow when it comes to depression. Yeah, like it fucking comes and goes. Doesn't make any fucking sense. At least, no matter what, I act the same with everyone. Hell, anytime I go to work, people feel I'm like the hardest working person they've ever met. They feel like I'm the happiest, friendliest, most optimistic person they ever met. Usually the person who trains new people. I'm socially awkward. I'm introverted. I'm so fucking withdrawn emotionally and psychologically, and I basically live in isolation. And yet I'm the person... Who a lot of time is the one having to help people with stuff or be talking. Then again, I mean, well, I'll, I'll try to talk to people. I try to be friendly and nice to everybody. I, I don't know. I think I'm getting into a talking thing. Again. I'm just... Main thing is, I don't even know what I started this damn conversation. Like, what the fuck is happening? All I can say is, I tend to be very overly polite to everybody. To the point that there's been a lot of times that people basically call me a pussy. And I'm like, whatever, I don't care. I'm just saying, regardless how pissed I am about something, I mean, unless I have to do something, I'd rather not do anything violent to anyone. The only times I've had to do anything was in self-defense or in defense of another person. Beyond that, I believe I would prefer, 
you know, the route of pacifism. Beyond that, I mean, I know America for a long time had a, like an isolationist standpoint before World War One, World War One. They tried to hold on to that before World War Two, and then just after that, just it's like the society of the world as a whole became more global. Then again, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, the world population exploded, transportation became improved. I mean, just think how many cars and planes are out there, and how easy it is to even go anywhere. How much we can communicate with each other. I mean, hell, think about the internet. We can talk. I, people can have a meeting with people from every corner of the world and have a real life instantaneous communication. You can talk to anyone across the world. That's amazing. And grandly, social media has apparently come with some downsides for society, but I think it's good that you can keep in contact with friends you otherwise wouldn't be able to talk to. I don't know. I like funny memes. Probably shouldn't stare directly into the fucking floor. The world's slowest epilepsy ever. <sighs> I don't know. It just seems like a lot of people, even if they're trying to go with the whole... You know, talking about how people should be to each other, they start becoming all hateful and shit. I just want everyone to be nice to each other. I mean, at the end of the day, is this. I agree with Nux Taku. Be wholesome to wholesome people and toxic to toxic people. If someone's an asshole to me, well then fuck you. I hope you fucking die. I hope fucking zombies come up, start eating you and stabbing you in the liver, and I will laugh at you as you suffer and die. I hope you go to hell and you burn. And then I hope you find something worse. I will not fucking help you. If you're an asshole to me, or if you're someone who betrays me, or just in general like that, I mean, if you're going to be an asshole to me, then fuck you. I don't give a shit. Get the fuck out of my life. And someone's like, oh, can you help me with this? Like, you fucking betrayed me. Go fuck off. In the same regard, if someone's nice to me, then I'll be nice back. But yeah, I agree with Nux Taku. Be wholesome to wholesome people, and be toxic to toxic people. Though, more to the point, I'm like, why fucking bother? Because here's the thing, if someone is toxic or something, why even really bother talking? It's not like there's anything you have to gain out of it. I mean, if they're not willing to meet you halfway and at least have a pleasant conversation with you, then, I mean, you're not getting anything out of it. And it's just like... Would I rather have an argument with somebody who is mean and insufferable? Or would I rather just take a nap? I'd rather just take a nap. Why am I so fucking tired all the time? My head's hurting more. I'm gonna go take a nap. Um, hope all you guys had a good day. Bye.